What is incredible of this place is the density of scientists with expertise in structural biology and electron microscopy. It's such a privilege to be at a facility where you know that diseases are going to be treated, very important innovations are going to be made. You have a strong sense that you will see those impacts out in the world someday. We work together really to, to solve problems together. The Simon Electron Microscopy Center is one of the largest cryo-electron microscopy laboratories in the world. It provides services to users or to scientists that are interested in structural biology. We can help them uh, solve the structural proteins. We can help them investigate the cellular landscape uh, at the molecular level. The Simons Electron Microscopy Center is a leader in the field of biophysics and biotechnology. The mission of the center is to build a community of researchers to use cryom techniques to uncover molecular and cellular structures. We are equipped with over 14 cryo-electron microscopes between uh, high-end cryotransmission electron microscopes and focused ion beam microscopes. Uh, this facility is capable of delivering service to users as well as training. What makes the Simons Electron Microscopy Center very unique is that we offer all our services at no cost at the point of access. So if a researcher is new to the field or they're coming in from experience, they can rely on us. Through our world-class instrument facility, we're able to elevate and ensure researchers from around the world can access this technology. The center serves a very large scientific community. We have over 900 active projects every year. Therefore, our staff can see uh, the needs of the scientific community. We've had users uh, spending a lot of time with us and we've had users coming in for only a couple of days. So those that spend uh, maybe multiple weeks, they can um, perform uh, a project from start to end or they can get full training. Um, those that come in for a couple of days, they, they can come in, they can discuss their projects and, and their problems and they can simply uh, obtain their data and then they can go back to their home institutions. The majority of my time is spent with visiting researchers who come here to get training. Not everyone uses the technique the same way or um, interacts with the instrumentation the same way, so we don't train every trainee the same way. And so my job is to help connect a trainee with the specific resources, both instrumentation and staff, that's relevant for their biological question. My group mostly uses light microscopy to study uh, cell biology. I was interested in learning to use cryo-electron microscopy, which is a cutting-edge technique to study the high-resolution structure of molecules. So I came to NYSBC to get trained uh, to be able to use that technique. This has been a fantastic experience. I've been able to be embedded here and learn all aspects of the workflow that's necessary to use that technique. Or by being here at the center, I've both been able to uh, use the microscopes they have and then also learn how to use microscopes more generally. So when I go back to Harvard, I'll be able to use the microscopes there. The team at the Simons Electron Microscopy Center is I think its greatest strength. Um, we have these amazing, beautiful instruments, uh, but it's really the staff that lets us do the kind of work that we do. Uh, we have people with a broad range of experience. We have engineers, we have chemists, we have physicists and biologists, and that allows us to sort of tackle any problem we might come across. The newer users, uh, we are providing our knowledge and expertise to uh, help them get the, uh, you know, the grids that they need or the data they need. Uh, so just providing that support to them so they're able to focus on the questions and the research that they're after. And when I saw the first images uh, coming off the microscope so that I was able to take myself, I was really blown away. That was really a new experience for me to be able to see stuff at that level of detail, which I had never been able to see before. One of the most exciting uh, reaction we get from a user is they've been trying to do cryo-EM, they have their samples, and when they finally got to see their actual particles you know, in the micrograph, uh, they're just like beaming. I've been working at this you know, for a very long time, having the proof visually in the micrograph saying like, oh, I see this is what this is, and I know what to, to do moving forward. My experience has been uh, really fantastic. Uh, it's been a very welcoming environment here, and people have really taken the time to help me learn different aspects of the techniques that's necessary uh, for me to 
be able to use them in my own research when I go back to uh, my home institution. I'll be able to uh, use what I've learned here to further uh, my own research. The number of instruments is, uh, uh, is helping us to provide a faster and a better service, but it also provides us with more access to uh, projects, and therefore our scientists simply see more problems more often than what would happen in a regular lab. We have lots of scientists from all over science, from biology, from physics, from chemistry, all over the place. And so uh, we have all had a lot of different experience with electron microscopy techniques. Because of that, there's a very wide knowledge base and it's also very deep. You can ask anybody anything, somebody will help you because we've kind of seen it all before, like someone here has seen it. <laughs> we see where people are struggling, that allows us to sort of strategize where should we be helping in our research. Internally within the center, most of our research focuses on method development for any field where tomorrow there will be uh, knowledge required for the development of better diagnostics or better drugs and pharmaceuticals. Um, the focus of the center is preparing the stage for tomorrow. We offer all our services at no cost to the user. We have an external peer review system. All you have to do is apply to the center. To submit an online proposal and the applications are evaluated based on their scientific value and on their feasibility and time allocations are granted on a quarterly basis. I came to the Simons Electron Microscopy Center uh, because it really allowed me to have a, an impact less in a specific scientific area and more uh, a broad impact to help many researchers um, in many areas by providing expertise in a specific technique. And uh, to me, that feels like a, a much broader impact to push the field forward.